Shake hands with me. How do you do, Miss Marianne? Willoughby, what is the matter? Why have you not come to see me? Were you not in London? Have you not received my letters? Yes, I had the pleasure of receiving an information you were so good as to send me. For heaven's sake, Willoughby. Tell me what is wrong. Thank you, I'm most obliged. If you'll excuse me, I must rejoin my party. Affections have long been engaged elsewhere, and it is with great regret that I return your letters and the lock of hair which you so obligingly bestowed upon me. I am, etc., John Willoughby. Oh, Marianne. Oh. Dearest. It is best to know what his intentions are at once. Think of what you would have felt if your engagement had carried on for months and months before he chose to put an end to it. We're not engaged. But you wrote to him. I thought then he must have left you with some kind of understanding. No. He's not so unworthy as you think him. Not so unworthy. Did he tell you that he loved you? Yes. No. Never absolutely. It was every day implied, but never declared. Sometimes I thought it had been, but it never was. He has broken no vow. He has. He has broken faith with all of us. He made us all believe he loved you. He did. He did. He loved me as I loved him. <laughs> Apparently, they never were engaged. Miss Gray has 50,000 pounds. Marianne is virtually penniless. She cannot have expected him to go through with it. But I feel for Marianne. She will lose her bloom and end a spinster like Eleanor. <laughs> 